Ah, hello, I'm your rock star host, Race Navo, back with some more really cool tricks, pranks, games, and magic. Perfect for, bar for back to school. So, as of today, we've got 21 tricks you can do to rock your school down in style. Let's get to these tricks right now. So how do you like this rock music that you hear in the background? It's perfect for this one of a kind back to school video. And here I'd like to present to you our rockin' high five back to school way tricks, high pranks, download gigs, and magic. Now, incoming to our first trick up of the day, and that is the magic elastic flat ring trick. Here's the performance of what this looks like. Okay, so you can see my elastic here, and I got my flat ring. What you can do to do this actually just put this onto here just like this. going to actually try and get this elastic on to that ring. going to hold just like this. Try and rub this in. Okay, so I'm gonna rub it in and watch. And magically, it stays on my elastic. From here, I'm gonna just hold this like this. I can actually just take this here. And just try to try rub it again. I'll try and take this completely out. Watch. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. But first, let's take a look at this shiny ring that's flashing. Whoa, isn't that pretty trippy? Okay, here's how to pull this off. So all you need for, for this is the elastic band and a ring. This is actually a key ring. It looks like this is like a plain ring. You see how flat this is? Here's a groove right here. And you see right there. You don't even see that groove inside there. Okay, so what you can do is stretch your elastic. You're gonna actually Provide a little bit of force as you rub this on like this. And that's going to actually floss it into here and fish it on like this. That way it's now linked onto here. If you do this into a light, you can make it nice and it'll give a nice good flare flash to it, making it nice and, nice and hip. Can take this off. All I gotta do is it's gonna actually work its way down to it, but gonna hold it and cover it like just like this. And from there, as it now slips off, I'm gonna keep it together like this. Work on it a little bit, and then just kind of just magically. Tear it off the flat ring. As you can see in the background, because the back to school coming up, you see how bright over there looks? Happens to be the nice back to school spirits radiant glow. Let's take a look, look at it before I carry on to the next trick. Look. That right there is definitely back to school spirit at its finest. And that there is how you do the magic elastic and flat ring trick. Now our next trick happens to be one of the Star Wars finest, the R2-D2. R2-D2 is now in this one in this amazing surprise prank gig. Coming in at our second one, and that is the R2-D2 card surprise. 
Frank Gag. Right, let's get to it. First again, look down there, got even brighter, way over here. Look, so bright, I can reach into it and become one with the spirit. Look, I'm all into the light. That makes me feel mighty fine. Okay, here is the trick. You can see my little R2D2 card here. Back in front of you, just actually, just take this like this, and you're actually show you that card. Oh! Oh, you did too. Give me a little squirt of water. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret. Here's what you need to pull this R2D2, R2D2. R2D2 card off. All you need is an R2-D2 cardboard thing that has this. This also came from a cereal box. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so how to uh, get it to, to do the spurt? Giving it that, that nice splash surprise. You'll need this. It is one of your little kind of surprise. Push toys that actually can draw up and get water in the, in the inside. So you have to just preload the water and you can set up it just like this. Okay, so here I got this all preloaded with water. And then here you can see it does that. It splashes its way up. Okay, what you want to do is hide the little suck up gadget, which is what you'll see here, that is now preloaded. You're gonna hide this into your palm like this. And closest to you. Take your little R2D2 card. Or it could be any card, a Pixar card, it doesn't have to be R2D2. You're gonna sweat back in front for inspection and you can take a look at it. Bring this back in the cover of it like just like this. Make it towards them. Come up here and give this a push and it'll look like this. Like get that water completely out as it was. Okay. Like this. Flying water right out of the little R2D2. So it should come out just like this. The R2D2 ends up sending the water out as it was done. Hold this very quickly in a palm, very quickly. Hand this cover for inspection as now you make this and put this into your pocket of your pants. And that's how you do the R2-D2 card surprise prank gag. Now for our third one, that's making great high five waves in, in school. And that is the magic back to school hair curl band. Magic trick. Here's the performance of what this looks like. Okay, first I'm going to get my little sunshine on my shoulder. Right here, I'm going to make sure just get myself into there. There we go. I got a bit of sun now here up on my shoulder. Okay, you can see this? This side here. I'm going to reach into here and watch this. going to actually reach in. And take out a band. I went inside of it. Ooh, yeah. What a tight fit. Okay, now I'll just put this onto my wrist. Okay, you can see, completely empty. I'm gonna do, do it again. Watch. Whoa! <laughs> These things are pretty tight coming out. Just gonna work on it. onto my wrist. You can see now, completely empty. Take it again. And watch. Then make another one appear from it. So now, I got all these bunch of curly hair bands that you'll see right here. How is this done? I'm going to reveal this to you right now. 
For this, you'll need is these hair curl bands that you'll see right here. Nice and colorful. What you're going to do is you're going to actually, very loosely, put these into your palm. And have one out and hold for a nice naturalistic look. Going to show it is going to be empty by just opening it up. Pass around for inspection. What you're going to do is you're going to actually take one of these and be quick and make one appear from it. Now, if you have a little bit of a struggle, a little bit, you can say that, oh man, this is so hard trying to get something that has really nothing inside of it. Now, I can show it again. And then do that same thing again. Make that up here. After these are on, pull them out. Put them onto your wrist. Like that. For collecting them. Again. So, last one again. That's into your palm. And just make it mask up here. Put that onto your wrist. And put the other one onto your wrist as well. And there you go. Tip, if you have a little bit of a struggle with it, that's okay, because there, we'll savor it that trick. It'll be even more mystified when they get to see you try and work its way out, and then you finally get out one of these from one empty hair band, hair curl band. And that there is how you do the magic back to school, back to school hair curl band magic trick. Now for our fourth one, that's making high fives, and that is the magic color ball and vase magic trick. Here's the performance of what this one looks like. You can see my color ball, I'm going to put this onto my vase, just like this, I'm going to actually take this ball again, watch, I'm going to so rub this, and put this back into my vase, watch. by magic change this color in the vase. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. Okay, for this you'll need is your ball and vase. Got the little uh, 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 the other things upon it. So you get just this. Next you need is a cat toy, a ball that happens to be a different color, a different color on a different side. It looks like this. What you want to do is say you want the green or any color football you choose, and have it facing them like this. Take a little ball and face. What gonna do is gonna twist this into your hand. So you're gonna take now the green is right there, really. It's right here. Place it back onto your base. Center it. Move away, savoring that ma the dead trick, and then by magic, changing the ball's color in your magic days. And that is how you do the magic color ball and vase magic trick. Now for our fifth one, that is our hey fifth one. Hi, fast that one. Okay. And that is com com uh, coming in to the magical melt breaking pen magic trick. Here is the performance. First, you can see here, you're gonna go like this and watch. Make my pen appear by magic. So you see this pen? You can rub it. No, it's not melting yet. Okay, it's gonna get a little shake. Okay, what I'm gonna do, do is I'm gonna put this like directly into my pocket, like that. And I'm gonna actually just get my hands, get that magic of school go inside of it first. Now I'm gonna go get my my pen here. I'm gonna rub it again. Watch. Rub it. Oh, ah, that was hot. 
I felt that going right, uh, right through it. You know, bend down, and then I saw you. I just broke my pen by melting it by my hand. How is this done? I'm about to reveal that secret to you right now. Okay, so all you need is two simple things. One pen full, and one pen you're gonna cut and get some tape onto it. So that way it stays nice, like this. This is gonna actually put into your pocket of your pants. Production of the pen, hold to your forearm, and be quick at making it appear. For a, for a pen production. So now you produced your pen, pass this around for inspection, and take a, fe a feel at your pen, bring it back, and now you try and rub your pen. You can't do a thing yet. Now, is we going to make your way to your pants, put your pen in, with your hands, make that magic happen by just moving your hands around. Now, going back to that same pen, we're really going to actually take out the one that's already been pre-cut, which is right here. Make sure that um, you hold it nice and steady, like this, so the thing is full. And as you pinch and roll, you're going to actually move your fingers under it to provide the heat and have it to melt. Roll. And then by magic, melt breaking the pen. Makes for a really cool pen magic trick you do for back to school, go out, go out front with it, and impress your classmates, even your teachers as well. And that is how you do the magical melt breaking pen magic trick. Now we can go way down in our sixth one, which is the back to school stick of glue trick prank. Here is it, the pretty home is you right now. Can't go wrong, biking your school glue as it is gonna just take my cap off. This, I'm gonna actually, I have a list right here that I want to, I want to actually have you guys take a look at. Okay. Watch. <laughs> Only to take you to the table. Feast your eyes on the table. Okay, now I'm done on my table. I can actually just use this. Look. Show you what it's worth. Wow, isn't that cool what my glue, what my glue stick is doing? How's this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is a glue stick, and you need a highlighter, a thin highlighter, that will actually fit well with your glue stick. You're gonna tape, tape it with some packing tape on the back of it. Make sure that your cap is on, like that. Have a list like this, or anything that you prefer to make a list. Take your cap off, making sure this is concealed so no one sees it. Take off your cap, get your glue stick onto your paper. Up over here so you guys can get to see on the other side. Come on close here. And then just gonna put it at an angle and just start to doodle some lines from your glue stick. Just a highlighter actually working it like this. And then I guess that it makes the lines. You have to put your cap back on again, and you're good to go. And so, what your glue stick made on the paper. And that is how you do the back to school stick of glue trick prank. Now for our seventh one, 
and that is the back to school paint bottle and brush trick prank. There is the brush and paint's performance to you right now. Okay, so here I got my uh, my, my paint brush and I got my red paint and just open up the lid here. Like that. This is tight. I'm gonna actually take my red paint. And this hole onto here nicely. Then I'll just take my, my paintbrush. I'm gonna actually go into my red paint. And it gives me blue paint. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I'll show ya. How is this a paint one done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is um, two paints taped together, a different color on the other side. This is gonna face you and have the other color, like say if you have like, say a white or any color paint, that'll be first. It has to have paint on the inside to give it like say a red look of that, making sure that you have a paintbrush and a paper on hand. Making sure you hide it like this, making sure that the, the cap is off the one in the back. You have it like this. Make sure you got a fresh, clean sheet of paper. I'm just gonna actually just use the back of this. Like that, so here. You, you're gonna think you're actually going into the red by giving it a tilt. Paper just goes in. So you have red paint. And then by magic, instead of red paint, it turns into blue paint, whatever paint that you choose to sink your paintbrush into. Nice round circle, nice and blue. Wow. It's a very interesting one, it's very artistic, as a corner you could do and pull off for your art class. Now here's a tip, if you accidentally see this a little bit, they won't even know, they'll probably think it's just a different one, making sure that you hide it so they don't get to see the actual color you're going to actually dip it into. So I you think it's just um, like a separate one from this, and then you're going to get right position and pull it off. That way it covers your ba, and then once you put the trick, Watch and be amazed. When they see you put that paintbrush in to the covered paint bottle and magically it'll change into a different one by the tip of your paintbrush. And that there is how you do the back to school paint bottle and, br and brush trick prank. Now for our eighth one, which is a completely interesting one, it involves a soda can. Not just any soda can, a cherry cola can. And that is the cherry cola can stun surprise prank. Here's the performance of what this looks like. You can see I got my uh, cherry can. I'm gonna just shake this up and watch. Oh, jeez! How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All that it is, is a cherry color can a cut. All you need is a silly string on the inside and coming out of the hole like this. This is where this came from. Make sure you shake this well so that way it comes out really nice and making sure that you move the tab so that way it comes out like this. Gonna get a shake. Very well. Like that. Come look up in person with your cherry cola can or any kind of can would do. As a shake, you're going to do this. And expel 
This to me is strange. As it is, my tearing out. But you kind of saw a little bit come shooting out just a little bit. Or if it makes it to the top, that's okay. Um, you can see you have heavy enough. That way you can, you can get them, stun them, and surprise them with your cherry cola can. Or whatever soda can that you have. To get the outlook, just make sure you tape this after giving a cut and taping the back there. That way as you a, as a hold it, you can show off the can like this. Back and front. That way it looks like a legit soda can. And I take oh, let's go like this, you can see. Like that. Perfect. It's a per perfect little prank eh, you can do for back to school. Here's another tip um, to look for the color that you want of the wacky string. It's the color of the of the top lid, which indicates the color. And the, the lid is pink, and what you just saw coming out was pink. So making sure that you're looking for the cap, because that's the color that the wacky string is. And that is how you do. The cherry cola can stun surprise prank. Looking way, way down to our ninth one, that's making the grade so high and so rocking, and that is the magic water in the pen basket magic trick prank. You guys, performance? What this looks like? Okay, so here I got my pen basket with all these pens in here. As you can see, all these holes in here. If I put water into this, it's gonna go everywhere. Off my desk and onto the floor. Here's my here's my my water and here's my pants. Get ready in three, two, one, dump and pour. <laughs> I gotcha. You win pranks. Not a stat. It's getting more surprising. I jump it out. Okay, how this is done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is a water and a seafood cup. You'll need is a bunch of pens. You'll need is a basket for your pens, and in the inside happens to be is taped in. A big cup, see-through cup inside, and t and tape it. So that way, you can see the holes. Is a very visual, a magic trick prank. All I gotta do is put your your uh, pens in the inside, make it look nice and natural. Add this on a desk, or you can hold it up to your, your lookers. Okay, so usually you'll find this on a desk. So here's it on your desk, and here's the water. And here, all you gotta do is you dump your water in. They're gonna freak out because look at all the holes that this has. Right? All you gotta do is just dump this in. In the count of three, two, one, dump! And then you'll be stunned that you poured water in there and it's not falling out of the holes. Take this up, take your cup, and give it a little dump, and pour the water out, which will be even more shocking. Take pens out. Then take, take, take a look again and see the holes in your pen basket. Give your pens a little shake, and put them back in. And there is how you do the magic water in the pen basket. Magic trick prank. Now for our 11th, no, now for our 10th one, which is the magic back to school mysterious funnel magic trick. There's performance, what this looks like. This one here will fool your science classmates. Can you see the inside? 
completely empty. I'm gonna place my funnel into my glass. I got my water here. Watch. Where is the water? It's not making it into the glass. Okay, actually now, let's hold this. Watch. Dump. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind this to you right now. Okay, so here is what you need, you need to pull this amazing funnel trick. Okay, here are the things you'll need. A funnel, water in a cup, and a glass, and some tissue paper. The hole inside the funnel, what you're going to do is take a little bit of your tissue paper and give it a rip. What you now is plug the hole into your funnel nicely and packed so that it's sealed airtight so no water will escape. You can take a look inside by a tilt. Place this into your glass, then take your water. And it'll stop the water from actually getting into your glass. So that way, it goes like this. And by magic, the water magically, basically, doesn't make it into your glass and mysteriously just disappears from there. Hold this very steadily, then dump this back into your cup where your water once was. And here, you can see it's already been plugged. A cool thing you could do in your science class. And that is how you do the magic back to school mysterious funnel magic trick. Now for our next one, I know you're done with one. And that is the Magic Cool Tech Wave Talkie Prank Gig. You guys got from this what this looks like. So you can see him in my uh, Cool Tech Walkie Talkie. He's gonna talk into it. Watch. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Now a second. Actually, let's just take this Walkie Talkie again and change it. Hi, how are you? How's this done? I'm about to reveal. Let's stick it to you right now. <coughs> to me. All you need is a cool tech walkie talkie or any walkie talkie. Yes, nice and small. All you need is a voice disguiser. Hello. This is Yasui Beast Power. So get to your preset onto here and hold this into your hand like this. So that, that they don't get to see a thing and all they see is just this. The sign of cool tech. From here, I'm gonna talk into here like this. So I'm gonna press it on and talk. <laughs> then adjust it again in the back. Again, talk. <laughs> you can do many voice changes that you want with this. Again, must be hidden from view. <laughs> Really cool sounds that you can make with this and just this. It's a really cool um, prank gay you can do for a back to school. Give it up for the, the, the cool tech walkie talkie. And that there is how you do the magic cool tech wave talkie prank gay. Now for our 12th one, that's hitting our 12th grade, 
And that is the Magic Disappearing Tape in Deck Magic Trick. Yes, yeah, the performance of what this looks like. Okay, so here's my little tape deck here. You can see I got my tape into here. I'm going to just take this tape out so you guys can get to see my tape that I have inside here. Okay, so here's my tape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just take this and put this in the inside of this. Just like this, I'm going to just put this in the inside of my tape deck like this. Right now, I'm just going to give this a close like that. So now the tape is inside this. Okay, watch. I'm going to snap my fingers and magically the tape disappears. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you'll need is a tape with this deck. What it's going to do is keep your tape into your deck like this so that way it's easy to take out for inspection. Okay, so here you're going to actually take your tape part here and you're gonna put this in, you're really gonna actually slip it into your hand like this. So you're gonna think of putting it in, but you're gonna put it in and go right into your hand and palm it and give it a close. So now that you think that tape is already inside there, tape now goes into your pocket. They are paying attention to the tape deck. You're gonna snap your fingers, make your magic happen, open the tape deck up, and by magic, the tape disappears inside the tape deck. And that is how you do the magic dis disappearing tape in the deck. Magic trick. Now for our 13th one, that's making the rock and roll waves really good. And that is the magic go-go gadget goggles gag. Here's the performance of what, what it looks like. You can see my Star Wars hat. I'm going to actually see the words go-go gadget goggles. And look. I magically get my Gogo -go Gadget goggles on. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. Because of that. Right to ya! Saying the ways to you! Okay, for this, you'll need is your top, uh, your hat, and these nice. Windshield wiper goggles. They look like gadget goggles. That's what I call it, the Gogo -go gadget goggles. Place this into your hat, just like this. And hold this onto your head. It will sit upon your head, just like this. Okay, all I gotta say is the words Gogo -go -go gadget goggles. Bring this down as you put it with your hat. Make them appear. Hat goes on top of your head. Make it to the dial and end off with some finesse by hiding the dial, turning it like this, and then let go. And let the windshield wipers send those waves. And that is how you do the magic go go gadget goggles prank gag. Or should I say gag prank? Now for our 14th one. That is the high profile robo hand trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. Okay, for those who are e electric um, part in your class, this one is good for you. As it is, I can't even move my hand. If I can just get this little dial on and use my high profile controller, watch. How's this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. For this, you'll need a glove, 
like a Daft Punk looking glove, and a nice contraption on it with computer parts, and your your controller from your car that says high profile. Okay, it's very simple because I could do this choreograph to when you are fiddling with your switches, which are these things on your controller. Okay. What you want to do is make sure that your hand stays still before doing the trick. Okay, so make your way to your table, have your hand nice and, sta and stable, flip on a switch, okay, so antenna there. Then you can control these things and synchronize, like say if you're doing a rotate, go from here and go like that. Going up. See? You gotta do this in unison. Make it look believable. And then here. Three, two, one. Like that. So so that way, um, in unison, it'll make them believe that you're being controlled by this controller onto your hand like this. And so what you could do for your your electrical class. And that is how you do the high profile robo hand trick. Now for our 15th one, which is the magic r rockin' high wave mega vo voice phone prank. There's a performance of what this looks like. You can see I, I have this here I have is my wave um, device here. I guess you're gonna try talking to this. Hello? Hi? I'm gonna try this again and watch. Hello? Hi? How are you? Doing well? Hello? Hi? How's the sun? I'm to get to you right now. Another voice stranger. Cupping your hands with the cord. You're gonna talk into your phone, have them take a try. This is a megaphone here. And then talk into it a few times. Make a few announcements. Okay, class, PE in the gym. Bring up to here. And then talk. Hi, how are you? Doing well? Go away, talk in again, go back into your hand. And do it again. This is how I do it. High five. I'm gonna step this onto your shirt like this. Hide the cord, and then pack it into it. Well, there are one few years, but it's safe on two. All I've got with this, the monster, with the alien, is how you differ. This is what's clear, guys, in school. And that there is how you do the magic rockin' high mega voice foam prank. Now for our 16th one, which is the magic rock star trick prank. Here's a perform performance of what it looks like. All you guys are rock stars. Okay, that makes ya just when I lighten up with big smiles on your face. And now, you can see it actually can go a little shake. And it starts to flash again. Get a little shake. To a rock star, and it's doing its own little light show. How's this thing? But the wheels get to you right now. All it is is this LED rock star here. Here is a button that actually works the lights. Like this. Make sure it's turned off. Show you a little rock star, and then just get a little shake. And turn those lights on. Right there. Now, right there will get definite big smiles on everyone's face. And there is how you do the magic rock star trick prank. Now, for our 17th one, which is the rockin' high hip walkman prank. Here's the performance of what this looks like. Is this in these really cool vibes? Oh! I didn't know walkmans could do that! As I said, it's very simple. All you need is a Walkman and anything attached to it. Make sure it's all the way. And dress it nicely with a nice, cool, hip headset. Gonna fill this up with the water. 
Thanks. Here you can see it says some tape there. Very simple because you can just hold it into the palm of your hand. You're rocking it out. Because it went down too. And you get them with this. So you can drive into some bees and doop. And so it's out. Water directly aiming right for them. And that is how you do the rockin' high hip walkman prank. Now for our 18th one, which is the hip gear game controller prank. Here is the performance of what this looks like. So you got my hip gear. Watch. <laughs> All it is is an LED flasher. Hit into the console your batteries of your one of your old game controllers on a card like this. I'll show you that paper. Holes, so they don't get to see it. Flashing. And then just do that. Then they'll see the flash from your hip gear remote control. So, just like this. Run on to your paper. And that is how you do the hip gear game controller prank. Now for our 19th one, which is the hand speaker magic trick. Oh, hello? Okay, you can see. Watch. There we go. I need the cord. I put this into your shirt. An old mic. Does this into your shirt and into your pocket. Hold and palm, make sure the cord's not there. And get us a plug in. And then magic, making your cord appear on your mic. And now for our 20th one, which is the highway speaker prank. You can see, here are the speakers. Watch. Unplugged. Back, the nano onto it. And now unplugged. And you get beats. Here is the view. Now I'm taking you to part two, making this a part two one, that way I'll show you this a little bit more, and I'll show you other ones too. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. Back for part two.